Arbitrum, a layer two on Ethereum. I've got the best guide to get you started. Hi everyone, I'm Leon. I'm a content creator over at Collective Shift, where we try and give you the most current and up-to-date information in the crypto ecosystem so you can unlock your wealth and financial freedom. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Arbitrum and how to get you started on Arbitrum. It's a layer two on Ethereum at the moment. There are things you can actually do here. So what we're going to walk you through is four basic steps. First up, we're going to add the Arbitrum network onto your MetaMask so that you can access the Arbitrum ecosystem. Secondly, you'll need funds on the Arbitrum network so that you can transfer or buy an NFT if you need to. So you're gonna to have to get funds from A to B and sometimes you might use a bridge. We'll be using the official Arbitrum bridge this time. After that, we're gonna find two protocols and I'll show you where you can find these protocols to use on the Arbitrum ecosystem. And lastly, we're going to look at the NFT marketplaces on Arbitrum and see where you might buy an NFT only if this interests you. Now remember, Arbitrum doesn't have a token yet. So it's quite possible after doing a lot of these transactions on a protocol long period of time, you might be eligible for an airdrop. So I want you to keep your eyes open and go and make those on-chain transactions. Before we dive any deeper, I want you to take a little moment to like and subscribe the video for us. If you like it, uh, please share the video around. And if you are even more interested, there is a link in the description for a discount code so you can come to the Collective Shift platform and continue to further your education in regards to crypto and financial wealth. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna want you to do is go to chainlist.org. Now, Chainlist is a very handy website for you to actually um, connect your uh, MetaMask to all the different EVM compatible uh, blockchains that we have, EVM compatible networks. So uh, all you have to do is have MetaMask installed already. Go to chainlist.org and type in Arbitrum. Now, there are three different Arbitrum networks you're going to have to add. This is so you can interact with Arbitrum uh, online on MetaMask. So there's Arbitrum 1, there's Arbitrum on XDAI, and there's Arbitrum Nova. The one we're going to be experimenting on today is Arbitrum 1, okay? Click on add this to MetaMask and a little pop-up will come up on the top right-hand side corner. It's asking you, do you want MetaMask to add the network that is Arbitrum? And you'll say, approve, I'm happy to do this. And I want to switch from the Ethereum network all the way onto the Arbitrum 1. So this is going from layer 1 to a layer 2, switch the network. Amazing, that's it, you're done. You now have access to Arbitrum. But now, number two, there is a problem. You need funds. How are you going to get your funds from a layer one onto a layer two? There's actually many different ways to do this. And just to give you a bit of context, you can go to l2fees.info, and this is where you can look at where all the recent transaction fees are for both Ethereum as a layer one and the different layer twos. We can see right now to send an ETH transaction, it costs 20 cents on Ethereum, and to make a swap for tokens is a dollar. However, on Arbitrum one, to send transaction, to send any ETH is only seven cents. And then to swap tokens is 11 cents. So it's much, much cheaper, almost 10 times cheaper to make to swap tokens on Arbitrum than it is on Ethereum. So once you know the cost to make the transaction, let's go and see if we can bridge some funds across. What I'm gonna want you to do is go to bridge.arbitrum.io, okay? This is the official Arbitrum bridge. It's quite easy to use. All you have to do is connect your MetaMask on the top right-hand side corner. Click on that and then it'll connect you to the Arbitrum network because we are now already on the Arbitrum network. Once it loads up, you'll be able to transfer funds from a layer one to a layer two, from the ETH mainnet to the Arbitrum layer two network. And this is what we can see here. There is Arbitrum one selected, you have Ethereum. You can select whichever tokens you want. Uh, we can transfer some USDC even if we want. Let's actually do that. So USDC, I have 25 USDC on Arbitrum one and I'm actually going to swap it around. You can go between back and forth between Ethereum mainnet and Arbitrum one itself. So on mainnet on U uh, USDC, I have no USDC. I do have some Gitcoin and I do have some ether. So let's do this. You can transfer 0.01 Ethereum onto Arbitrum one, and then you leave it for a second for it to calculate what's going to happen. This is saying I'm going to be moving 0.01 Ethereum, which is $15.83, and I'm going to be paying $0.61 uh, or 61 cents in transaction fees to get it from layer one to layer two. And then by the end of it, I should have 0.01 on the Arbitrum One network. This is quite easy to do. I'm going to click here. I'm not going to move, but I want to show you what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to switch. 
So we're now switching, we're now on the Ethereum mainnet and it's going to ask us again how much we want to send. And here we go. Now it's going to ask us versus the transaction right now. So it's saying this is $23 uh, in Australian and all you have to do is click this confirm and then it will send that transaction to the blockchain. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because there are other ways you can get uh, your funds onto Arbitrum Layer 2. This is FTX, and just so I want I want you to know, the uh, FTX is a centralized exchange. It's not the official bridge. So if you're looking for an airdrop, it's very it's much much better for you to use the official Arbitrum bridge and not use a centralized exchange. I have some Ethereum. I have 0.1 Ethereum here. You click on withdraw and. You can see here, these are the different networks that FTX actually supports for withdrawals. We have Ethereum, we have Solana, we have Arbitrum, and we have the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to withdraw all of it, and instead of putting uh, even an Ethereum address, you'll be able to see here in the withdrawal method, how do you want to withdraw it? I want to withdraw it using the Arbitrum network, and then you will just type in your address. That's it. And then it transfers all that Ethereum onto the Arbitrum Layer 2 network using its own bridge. Very, very handy sometimes. All right, now let's move on to item number three. What are you going to be doing once you get some Ethereum on Arbitrum Layer 2? There are lots and lots and lots of dApps for you to use. I would say go to portal.arbitrum.one where the where you can have access to all the different applications that are live on Arbitrum right now. See all the little green ones? Live, live, live. All of these are ready to be used. Let's find a few of them. Some of them are quite easy. We have some lending protocols. We can use Aave on Arbitrum. And then let's go ahead and use a swapping protocol, perhaps a one inch on Arbitrum. All you have to do is go to Arbitrum, uh, go to Aave itself, connect, and using the Arbitrum network, and we are in. I have some Ethereum already. Wallet balance is 0.73. I'm gonna go ahead and supply some Ethereum on here, 0.01. $15 I'm going to supply onto the Arbitrum network, and it's going to cost me 18 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and supply this, wait for the transaction to come up, and confirm. Congratulations, guys. If you're following this, you've now been able to interact on the Arbitrum network using your Ethereum address. If there is an airdrop and it comes up and they're looking for people who have used the Arbitrum network, it's very likely you might be included here. Now, transaction confirmed, there we go. Let's go ahead and use one inch. One inch is a DEX aggregator. It is one of the best out there. Make sure when you sign in, I'll start again and show you. I'm going to log out and connect the wallet at the top right hand side corner. Make sure you have selected Arbitrum and then you sign in using MetaMask and that's our wallet. Right now I'm going to swap some Ethereum into USDC. Oh, actually this is what I'm going to do. Swap some USDC into Ethereum, okay? USDC, I have $26. I'm going to permit the swap, permit and then swap it at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna sign that transaction and very soon you will see it will execute itself after you've confirmed the swap. Loading, very good, and I'm ready. I'm ready to sign this transaction. All I've done here is I've given someone my Ethereum and I've given someone my USDC and they've, I've, they've given me Ethereum in exchange and that transaction has now been confirmed. That is amazing super, super fast. And remember, remember, according to the L2 fees, this cost nearly nothing. This was only uh, 11 cents to interact with a contract or even swap tokens, which is very, very cheap compared to the Ethereum mainnet. Now, let's look at NFTs on Arbitrum. Where can you go? These are the Arbitrum uh, NFT tools and NFT marketplaces. There are actually a lot of marketplaces for you to interact with here. There is Lutex, Stratos, Tofu, NFT, and Trove. You can go ahead and click on all their different websites and see which one you like. So this one has 67,000, this is Lutex, Stratos has 4,000, uh, Tofu NFT has 68, and 19K for Trove. Let's use the Tofu NFT because they do not have a token yet. Now, in this marketplace, instead of signing in using the BNB chain, you sign in using the Arbitrum network, okay? Once you're on Arbitrum, you can select any of the NFTs you see. Now, which one might be better? I wanna discover some and purchase any of these. Arbus Arbitrum Odyssey Penguins. I will not buy this because I know nothing about this NFT, but I want to show you what it's like. This Arbitrum Penguin is selling for $5.23 or 0.0033 ETH. Click on buy now and you connect with MetaMask and you sign in again, same process. Oh, you have to verify the address, which is you sign the transaction. I'm going to sign, make sure it's not moving any funds out. Very good. 
confirm the terms of using the service and you click buy. Now, if as soon as this transaction comes up and you click purchase or confirm right at the bottom, that means you are going to go ahead and buy this NFT. I'm not going to do that because I do not want this NFT. Okay, let's go ahead and find any other NFTs for you to purchase. And it's a very simple, intuitive method for you to get involved into the NFT ecosystem. There is government toucans with 0.039 ETH. I'm sure there's some Arbitrum Odyssey NFTs that might be out there. So please go out and experiment. All right, guys, I hope that was really informative for you. I hope I've been able to give you an idea on how to get started on Arbitrum. So just to recap, one, we showed you how to bridge funds onto Arbitrum itself. Two, how to add Arbitrum network, the RPC onto your MetaMask itself and interact with Arbitrum layer two or using your MetaMask, of course. Thirdly, how to use two different protocols, which was Aave and OneInch, both to lend some Ethereum tokens and also to swap some USDC into Ethereum. And fourthly, we've seen some NFT marketplaces on Arbitrum. Which one do you like the best? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure you check out Collective Shift down in the description for a discount code onto the platform where we try and give you the best updated information in crypto. It is honestly one of the best sources of information in the crypto ecosystem for you to understand what's happening because it is a large sector and it's not going away anytime soon. But make sure you check out some of the other videos with lots of educational content coming soon. Back now.